Holy shit! I think agents, you have never seen something quite like this. Face the whole legendary way without shield? Jesus, welcome to insanity! I have to say that this could be one of my favorite legendary builds to run right now because I can be basically immortal! You can't touch this. You can't touch this. But the most special thing in this set, and I think it's achievement by itself, especially right now in the game, that you can actually do legendary missions and summit without using shield, man. Right now it's pandemic in PvP, I'm so sick and tired for shield builds, so I decide to create something fresh with a twist, and this build absolutely delivers. You can face the whole things by yourself, take all the tension from enemies, meanwhile your teammates can deal ridiculous damage to them, or you can run solo with this setup. And like I told you again, this could be right now my favorite build to use on legendary difficulty because the synergy is ridiculous between our talents, skills of course, and exotics. Just check it out, I'm face dunking two Changa Stinger Hives, don't deal any damage to me, my armor bar is not moving, my adrenaline rush is all the time up, Intimidate is basically for me there as well, non-stop, my damage boost is all the time up, my bonus armor, man, is all the time up! And honestly, I kinda want to prove that you don't have to use all the time Boulevard, Shield and Pistol setups at Legendary Difficulty. Please, agents, don't limit yourself to only Shield builds. Right now, there is Pandemic in PvP and you're gonna kill all the fun in PvE because trust me, running around like a freak without Shield will deal a lot of fun, man! But if you want to be updated to all the best PvP, PvE builds, you know where you have to be. Subscribe, hit that like, share this video and destroy bell button. Do something nice for Butcher, man. So with no further ado, let's get into it. For specialization, we're gonna use Survivalist. It works really well in solo mode. As you see, I'm destroying Summit. Legendary difficulty floor 100 with 6 directives applied, unfortunately I received some kind of bug here, my medkits didn't work and my repair was terrible or actually it didn't heal me, as you see my ammo is not moving forward, I'm pulling my medkits, nothing here but man, this is division 2, bug glitch simulator, typical day in office and despite that I will still destroy this difficulty but guys Protection from elites are really important, but in team play, survival specialization will shine as well because you gonna apply status effects with fire grenades, and in general, by applying status effects, you will increase your team's damage. But medkit will heal not only you but your teammates as well, and you will have regen, armor regen for five freaking seconds. But before we continue, I just wanna let you know that we have some sponsor ads and guys, if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Weaving.net is signed for you, they have absolutely amazing team on Xbox, they will complete your order twice as fast, now everything happens with Icon sharing, this service has been working for many many years, it has tons of custom reviews, you can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code ERBVV, you will have 15% discount on all services. It's an amazing deal, especially when right now this site supports a lot of games, and if you have any questions, I will leave a link down below in my description, you can contact them through the WhatsApp. But now let's get back to my legendary shield free build. Immortal shield free build. For my main guns, I'm running exotic SMG Lady Dead because the amplified weapon damage, man. Unfortunately, Lady Dead is meta gun in PvP and PV, and I hate it in PvP. In PV, okay, it's nice, the damage is pretty cool, magazine size is not that great, but man, damage output is ridiculous. But actually, Tsunami shotgun with perfect plumber will deal even more damage. Unfortunately, everybody is sleeping on this shotgun. And guys, why? Just why? 
farm the shotgun, it slaps, it hits harder than a truck and your ex-girlfriend with mother combined. Man, this shotgun is absolutely, oh, mamma mia, bellissimo. This shotgun slaps, destroys, and even at legendary difficulty, I can activate perfect plummel easily because I have protection from elites, man, and I have ridiculous armor repair from my drone and healing from my hive. Of course, you could use stinger hive, but healer hive will do ridiculously well at legendary difficulty. But tsunami shotgun, man, it's a sleeper. Underrated shotgun, but if you want to destroy PV content, I strongly recommend you to find this shotgun. And the only thing you could switch here, maybe Lady Death with Scorpio shotgun, because Scorpio shotgun I will apply status effect, and immediately your teammates will receive damage boost on that enemy. But for pistol, I'm running Name at pistol with one extra skill tier and say this. Because on heroic difficulty I'm using Stinger Hive, for the gear I'm running Sombra with 3 damage and 3 chance attributes, as my numbers goes I have maximum 3 chance and 130% 3 damage, so maybe some of 3 chance numbers I could replace with headshot damage, but that's only if I will play with Lady Death. If with Tsunami Shotgun, guys, we need the free chance and free damage. And you see how I am destroying heroic difficulty with the reactor supply. My armor is not moving anywhere, man. I'm wiping this mission. For you, these missions will be like story mode, man. The reason is simple because I created this setup for legendary difficulty. And if I can be immortal at legendary difficulty, heroic. <laughs> will be peace okay man healing is ridiculous because but again it depends on your preference you could use stinger hive or healer hive at heroic difficulty i would recommend you to stick with stinger hive but on legendary difficulty heal man because that repair from drone and healing from hive will be ridiculous once overcharge will be blocked and protection from elites in this case is just cherry on top of the cake nothing and nobody will get to you with this setup uh, yeah crit chance is a really nice crit damage could be a little bit higher but again it depends on what guns you will run so we need the crit chance for our tsunami shotgun for chess piece i'm running sokolos with intimidate and i would say the hardest part here is that you will have to find all the pieces with crit chance and crit damage so you could roll are more core attribute and that can be pretty tricky i would say even more pain in the ass with all the loot quality and rng and rainbow loot going on right now in the game that could take some time because you need sombra you need sokolov and that improvised the gear is absolutely ridiculous to get with some nice rolls man you will see what i'm talking about but man just check out how I'm face tanking Chungus without shield and and my basically overcharge is not propped right now. Of course you have here and there to use medkit, but man, you are face tanking legendary difficulty without shield by itself is huge achievement man. So please hit that like, subscribe, share this video or leave a hateful comment, it truly depends on your preference. But for holster, I'm using improvised holster with free chance of free damage and woo! I spend a lot of money and uh, materials to get this one, but for mod, you should use protection from elite. That's the reason why this holster is amazing, because it will go with mod slot, empty mod slot, and you could put here crit damage, reaper skill, it depends on your preference. For backpack, I'm running Walking Terrace. This backpack is not that great because I have headshot damage and crit chance. I would prefer here crit damage and headshot damage, but it is what it is. RNG gods are not that good to me, and they have never been good to me. Jesus Christ, I play too much this game. But like I told you before, the hardest part is to obtain all these pieces so you could draw armor for it. You could buy. But my little dirty secret here is of course BT2 Exotic Gloves. They have already Reaper skill and they will give me overcharge. And by destroying any hype you will get 
basically cool down to your second skill and overcharge basically any skill in the game drone chem launcher healer repair i don't know hives you name it and my stinger hive will be overcharge mode as well so this is pretty dope way how to play just remember that we are using bt2 gloves for that overcharge and reaper skill reason that will help us to deal with non-elite enemies but for all other reasons we have protection from elites man those chungas dogs drones will not deal any damage to you whatsoever man keep that in mind so protection from elites are really important but i have mixed bag here i have crit damage mods as well you could go full on protection from elites mode but i think that's not that necessary i think you should invest in crit damage a little bit more because eventually you have to kill somebody and i think i found perfect sweet spot where we have ridiculous healing we have protection from elites and nobody in the game can touch you of course it's not like you can face tank all the time everybody you have to take your corners you have to take cover time to time pull that med kit but if you're gonna play smart and proc all the talents at the right time there is game over just kill non-elite enemies with your tsunami shotgun proc that perfect plumber and you're ready to rock at legendary difficulty please use your healer hive and fixer drone fixer drone as you saw will give you 175 percent armor reaper that's absolutely ridiculous number with shield you will have basically immune shield if you're gonna play with the uh, hive but man this is shield free build, I'm so tired of shield builds man, so I, I just want to play freely man, and I encourage, encourage excuse me, you to do so, don't use shields man, think out of, out of the box and you're gonna destroy this game easily, this game honestly is not that hard, it's not that hard, you can face them everybody without shield, healing is amazing, Honestly, even without <laughs> overcharge, my fiction drone will heal me enough because I have that crazy adrenaline rush talent. And other than that, this build performs really well in conflict, not conflict, Jesus Christ. I'm tripping in PV, summit, or strongholds, it depends on your preference. You, want, you can play with this one in lone wolf mode, in team play just play smart man you don't have to be everywhere at the same time take one enemy at the time and just move to the next one and you will be ready to rock man yeah yeah again you have some options here you could invest in reaper skill you could invest in uh, protection from elites or go all dps mode but i think like in life everywhere you have to find perfect balance and i think i found here it so but you can play around with some pieces do whatever you like i'm giving you templates so have fun man you deserve it as usual please hit that like subscribe share this video i'm trying to reach 30k subs before this year ends do something nice for butcher and i'm dropping the mic see you in the next one